Within the European Union, traffic and transport flows are continually growing. Road and railway have already reached their capacity limits and are not as environmentally friendly or energy efficient as inland vessels. It is time to make use of the large potential of inland waterways within the EU28. Time for news. News or Next Generation Inland Waterway Ship and Logistics System is a European research project. The project's main results included a ready-to-use concept for a new inland vessel for the Danube region, as well as a target market and a finance and business plan for the vessel. The vessel, Newsmark 2, is designed to meet the operator's cost targets, optimize time management, deal with most inland shipping-specific bottlenecks like low bridges or shallow waters, improve carbon footprints, and successfully cooperate with road and rail transport. All of this is thanks to the vessel's unique specifications. Newsmark 2 can regulate its draft by up to 80 centimetres through its active ballast water system and therefore can pass under low bridges when fully loaded. For further efficiency, its LNG electric energy propulsion system is optimised for shallow water. The cargo hold is designed to carry containers, special purpose cargo, bulk cargo and cars. And its versatile loading capacity allows an average fuel cost reduction of 10% compared to extended Stein class vessels. It's a ballastable LNG electric inland vessel which can be operated on 80% of the European waterways. In a nutshell, it has it all. But this technologically, ecologically and logistically up-to-date vessel will never sail if the infrastructural conditions on the Danube aren't met. Locks should have two chambers of 185 metres each, bridge heights should be adjusted for a three-layer container transport, and most importantly, a permanent draft of 2.5 metres is necessary. This is why technology and politics have to act now and work together in order to transform the Danube into a constantly usable and reliable transport mode for the next generation of intra-European trade. Find out more at www.news-fp7.eu.